Hey guys, this is Bailey with Scott Leroy Marketing and today I'm going to show you the new brand assets section in designs. So right now I'm at the command sign in page. I'm at agent.kw.com and I'm going to get signed in. And from here, we're going to go into the design section. So on the far left, we have our widget menu. And while you're still learning what these different widgets are, you can click on the KW and it will expand this menu and show you the names of each section. We'll click on this one here that looks like a paintbrush and that will take us into designs. This brings us into my design templates. This is basically a library of any saved pieces you've created previously. And to get to that brand assets section, we'll need to create a new piece. So we'll go down to the plus sign at the bottom right. We can click on that and the easiest way to get to the brand assets would be through either social, print, or even through import PDF. So I'm just, just going to click social and then next. And this is going to bring us into the design templates. So up toward the top, we have three different sections. We have templates, my designs, these would be those designs we created previously again, and then brand assets. Previously, this section was over here to the right. There was a little button that said library. This is essentially the same thing. They've just renamed it and changed location. So we'll click on this tab here for brand assets. And this is basically going to be a library of elements, um, photos, headshots, logos, things that you're going to be using frequently on any designs or pieces that you will create in command. So it starts with colors and fonts. Maybe you have a specific color scheme for your branding. You can actually add in your color palette here. You can select colors by clicking on the plus sign. You can also add in custom fonts. Maybe you're, you're using specific fonts for your designs or your branding. You can upload those here. You can add in additional color palettes or choose fonts from the web. If you have your own logo for your business, you can add those in here or even your office logos, it would be good to add those here. You can see I have a few stored here, but you can click upload to add in a logo from your computer. Smart text. These are things like tagline, website, your phone number, um, basically your contact information and any slogans or phrases that you may be using frequently on your pieces. You can see some examples of those here. And of course, if you click on the little dot, dot, dot button, you can choose to edit these or delete. If I click edit, it will allow me to change that tagline here. I can also add in a new field. If I click on new field over on the far right, gives me all of these different options. So let's say I wanna add in my Facebook profile. Maybe I'll be putting this on my flyers and different pieces that I create. I can now type in my Facebook URL. And click save. So now when I go in to create a piece, it'll be really easy to add that text onto my flyer or whatever I'm creating. Same thing with images. This would be a great place to store your headshots or any stock images that you'll be using. I wouldn't put logos here though. Um, definitely keep your logos in this section. Under elements, um, this is a great section for any clip art or little fun designs that you may be using on your pieces. Um, KW provides some for you as well. And then you can store videos and other files here as well. So I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like in action once you've uploaded um, some different fonts, maybe some smart text or your headshot. I'm gonna go back to templates and show you how, we, how easy it is to use pieces or items from the brand assets section. So I'll just go into listings and I'll choose a, a flyer to create. Going to choose this design here. And now I'm just going to zoom in toward the bottom and show you how easy it is to switch out these elements. So let's say I want to change out this headshot. I uploaded my headshot previously into the brand assets section. 
So now what I can do is I can go over to the left where an image is currently. I can add an image from my computer if I needed to upload a separate image. But I added in our headshots over here under My Assets. So now I can very easily go to this section, hit that Replace button, and it'll swap out my headshot. Same sort of thing for Logo. If I click on this logo here, I can then go to Logos on the left and choose one of these logos here. You may need to adjust the sizing, and you can see this one doesn't work perfectly because the KW is red. You can play around with these, upload different logos in different colors, and very easily I can swap out that information. And you'll see same sort of thing if I go into text. Here are those text pieces or smart text that we added in earlier. So that is the brand assets section in designs in command and how you can easily implement them.